Question number 161. Read the following statements and choose the correct option. Statement A. As the sperm head comes in contact with the ovum membrane, it causes opening of sodium channels to cause depolarization. This is a correct statement as depolarization leads to fast block of polyspermy. It prevents the entry of other sperms. Statement B. Cortical reaction and zona reaction constitute slow block to check polyspermy. This is also a correct option as cortical reaction involves extrusion of cortical granules and zona reaction makes the zona pellucida impervious to other sperms by destroying sperm receptors and they both constitute slow block of polyspermy. Let us see the options. Both statements are correct, is correct. Both statements are incorrect, is incorrect. Statement A is correct, but B is incorrect, is also incorrect. Number 4, statement A is incorrect, but B is correct, is also incorrect. So, the correct answer becomes option number 1. Moving on to the next question. Question number 162. In humans, umbilical cord contains. The umbilical cord connects the fetus to the placenta and it contains two arteries and one vein. The arteries in umbilical cord carry deoxygenated blood whereas the vein carries oxygenated blood. Let us see the options. One artery and one vein is incorrect. Number two, two arteries and one vein is correct. Number three, two arteries and two veins is also incorrect. And number four, one artery and two veins is also incorrect. So the correct answer becomes option number two. Proceeding to the next question. Question number 163. In pregnancy, the first movements of fetus and appearance of hair on the head are usually observed during. So the first movements of fetus and appearance of hair on head occurs during the fifth month of gestation or about 20 weeks. Let us see the options. Fifth week is incorrect. Fifth month is correct. Number three, first month is incorrect. And number four, first trimester is also incorrect as during the first trimester at the end of second month, formation of limbs and digits of fetus is observed. So the correct answer becomes option number two that is fifth month. Proceeding to the next question. Question number 164. During embryonic development, which of the following is characterized by morphogenetic movements to form primary germinal layers? So the formation of germinal layers is known as gastrulation. Let us see the options. Blastocyst is incorrect as blastocyst takes part during implantation. Number 2, Asmorilla is the 8 to 16 cell stage which transforms into blastula. Number 3, Gastrula is correct as Gastrula undergoes gastrulation. Number 4, Zygote is incorrect as Zygote is the product of fertilization of gametes. So the correct answer becomes option number 3. The correct event in this question becomes formation of Zygote leading to the formation of morula, leading to the formation of blastocyst, leading to the formation of gastrula, where primordial germ layers are formed. So the correct answer becomes option number 3. Question number 165. During ectopic pregnancies, implantation of embryo does not occur in Ectopic pregnancies are the pregnancies where implantation occurs at a site other than the uterus. So, let us see the options. Isthmus could be, this is correct, as isthmus is a part of fallopian tube where implantation could take place. Number two, ampulla is also correct as during ectopic pregnancy, implantation can occur in the ampulla where fertilization has taken place. Number three, infundibulum is also a part of the fallopian tube. Number 4, uterus is the incorrect option 
as normally implantation occurs in the uterus but in case of ectopic pregnancies it occurs outside of the uterus so the correct answer becomes option number 4 moving on to the next question mm -hmm. 